Hello and welcome to Atlanta. We are at Legacy Atlanta, 2008 Atlanta, and we are in the Arca car. First race of the week. Very excited to give this a run because I really enjoy this version of Atlanta. Back before uh, they made it into a Frankenstein of a super speedway <laughs> and a uh, mile and a half. This is the old, really bumpy, cheese grater on the tires version that we all know and love. <laughs> um, did I change? I think I got my... Hold on. I'm worried I didn't do my steering right. It's probably all in my head and it's probably correct, but something. I'm just worried. <laughs> I want to get. I want to get this right. I want to qualify the best I can. Yeah. No, I didn't do it. Okay. I thought it felt weird. I was gonna feel silly if it was correct. I want to get this how I want. Brake buys back. I don't. We might use brake later in the run. Not gonna use it for qualifying here, of course, but might need the brakes later in the run, so I want to get that down low. We'll see what we can do for qualifying. It seems like, uh, compared to the laps I have in the past here, going a little bit slower. Only a little bit. We'll, we'll aim for it. We'll see what we can do. But I've been seeing, uh, like, 31 ones. Kind of seem like the real fast laps, but not sure. I think it's high side one and two, low side three and four. Oh my gosh, why didn't it turn? It didn't grip up at all. Well, that sucks. I don't think I hurt the car, so we're just going to get a run to the line and try again. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, don't mess this up. We're not off to a good start, though. We gotta get lap two down here. It did not grip up, though. I wanted to run the high side, and then I was, like, lifting off and everything. Just wasn't doing it. Go. I swear it's tighter than it was in practice. Holy smokes. That's fine. We got through it that time without hitting the wall. Yeah, wow, this... Maybe it's in my head, but it feels like it's tighter than it was in the open practice. I guess I'm okay with that. 31-3. I feel like I can do better, but I guess I'll take it. Yeah, 31-2 is kind of fast as people are. So I'm not that far off. It's just a really tough field here. 4.2 strength of field, and we are the 7. A uh, couple names that you don't normally see in this first race of the week that are concerning me a little bit. But we've also got the uh, names we do know and do appreciate. What happened to Justin? Uh, I was just watching his practice lap to see what he was doing. He ended up doing exactly what I expected. High line 1 and 2 and low line 3 and 4, but I wonder... If he got the wall or something. Interesting. That's unfortunate. He's going to have some work to do. But at least I was able to pull it back on lap two. Get ourselves in eighth place. About a tenth off. The pole sitter as of right now. Who's, I think, a pro driver that just lost his pro license from having a low enough safety rating. I believe is what happened. So there's that happening. Got Larry in third, Jordan we're familiar with in fourth, Lewandowski fifth, Shane's up here, Scott we know, Brian's a part of like the community and everything I'm pretty sure. And then isn't, uh, I think, isn't he like a, I don't know, I recognize these names, I don't know if they're like pro drivers or what. I just recognize their names. I've probably just been in races with them before, but I don't remember them being in here. I think this is an alt account, so that's always fun, racing against people who uh, that's the end of the maybe session. don't have to be as careful. That's always a little concerning, but 
Oh, well, we'll stick our P8. Hopefully, uh, we'll have ourselves a good one. I'm cautiously optimistic. I think we could have a good race. The setup's interesting. Sag. <laughs> he must have gotten the wall or something. That's unfortunate. Because I know he would. he's always at the front of the field. Maybe like back half of lap one, he scraped the wall or something, and then it killed his run to the line, you know? I could see that potentially happening, especially with how much tighter the car was than uh, I expected it to be. Just maybe the temperature changes or track conditions in general changing. Maybe left us with a little less grip. So I'm going to try to not overdrive this. I'm hoping tires will come into play, and I'm hoping I'll be on the right side of the tires coming into play. So I, I will do my best to try to drive off the right rear, not overdrive the entry, because the way this, the car feels set up right now, it feels like it's like tight on entry, but then like once you get past mid-corner on exit, it, it gets a lot of bite, almost too much, where it starts feeling like you get loose. So I'm hoping that if I can avoid overdriving the car, I can you now be easy on entry and then use that looseness on exit to get on the right rear just enough, not to where I'm breaking loose real bad, but, you know, just counter steering off the uh, throttle. Maybe that'll help us keep some speed and still be good on the tires. No we'll see. Right. We'll see. That's the plan. That's the thought process. But whether I can do that successfully or not is still in question. So starting P8 as the seventh car, however. So we're off to a, a decent enough start, especially after uh, I was a little concerned in the outside column. at the beginning when we hit the wall. Someone I know is always really good at saving tires is Lewandowski down there, so I might try to match his pace a little bit. He's always one of those guys that at the end of the race, you look at his tires and they're always even. <laughs> if it's possible for them to be even, and it's not just a combo that's just got way too tight a setup or something, if it's possible, he's usually got even tires. So, um, you know, we got a lot of strong, we got, got a lot of good drivers around us. That's part of why I really enjoy racing this first race of the week. Not only is it great competition, but uh, lots of fast drivers around. I mean, you can keep an eye out and learn some things, maybe. So we'll get a good view of the leader and get ourselves a good jump. Get ready. Going green. I couldn't tell if he was going. He was like hidden behind P3. Kind of tricked my eye. It was like an optical illusion. So that was interesting. Don't break loose. I know it's going to want to. So let's be careful. All right. Alright, feeling kind of tight, so I don't want to overdo that. Wasn't feeling too loose there, it was feeling almost all around tight, so... Let's, uh, let's try to be easy on this thing. Side by side up ahead. I did not expect to get to his inside right there. I wasn't even pushing at all. I almost didn't even see it happening. He's... <laughs> He's trusting it. His car's feeling tight, man. I'm not getting that same bite that I was running solo. I don't know. 
usually, uh, man, usually this car doesn't deal with like arrow push and stuff. Is that why it's, it feels so much tighter though? Maybe I'm just overdriving, I don't know. There's a little bit of turn, alright. Wasn't very fast, though. But that's alright. We're gonna be gradual. Don't kill these tires. It's not necessary. We got 40 laps of guaranteed green racing. I'm gonna let this 11 pass on the high side if he wants. The goal is that uh, we'll hopefully be faster in lap 40. You know? Hopefully a little sooner than that, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So the 11 looks like he's getting some turn on exit. I'm wondering why I can't get any of that. Hmm. I, I just... I can't get it to, uh, on the right rear. Yeah, might as well get you by me now. <laughs> Just is making his way through the field, I see. Man, this car's driving weird. It's, I don't know. It's snappy loose, and it's I mean, there's nothing I can really do about you know driving off the right rear if it's gonna be snappy loose. It's not very comfortable. Hmm. I hope this is working, because I'm definitely not going as fast as the other guys, and if I'm hurting the tires just as much, then what am I accomplishing, you know? We got the six coming up. I'm not going to make it hard on him if he wants to get by. You can take the high side, though. I'll leave the lane. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside. I'm trying to be good to this thing, but we've got a whole pack of cars coming behind us, and I don't really want to get... I don't want to lose all my track position, because then I'm going to have to use those tires I saved to get past them again later. It's a bit of a predicament. That got loose. Justin's got quite the run. Yeah, we. He's got places to be. Maybe we just follow him. I don't want to lose too many spots. We got Gavin covered up. Maybe I've been underdriving and that's been putting out in the right rear, paradoxically. So I'm not Outside. being forceful enough on the throttle. I don't know. Outside, clear. Justin's using that high line to get quite the run, though. I just, I can't get this car to be rotating. Can't get it to be on the right rear. It's bothering me, man. It doesn't feel right. We're in 11th place, though. Not doing so bad. Maybe we'll have some guys drop off that we're just going a little hard on the start.
Still got a long way to go, so I can't get impatient. The six making a pass up there. Use the high line to get a run. Okay, I'm kind of maybe getting it. I think I needed to take a wider entry. Kind of angle the car toward the bottom a little more. Maybe that's what I needed to do to drive off the right rear. Just I'm using a little bit of brake. Okay. Feel like I'm kind of getting it now. I say, destroying my tires probably. I think I understand now. Gonna have to watch for wrecks too. You never know with these cars getting tighter. Someone maybe uh, doesn't keep their lane. Got lots of guys pretty close to one another up here. I don't want to be on this inside. I really didn't want to do that. I had to use wheel to make sure I didn't drift up into him. I wasn't even trying to get to his inside. Didn't really want that. I broke my momentum too. It's bound fall, but hmm. Ooh, that was a moment up there. That looked scary. I'm liking this wider entry. Okay. I think if I uh, knew what I know now, is that's probably how I would be taking it from the start. Kind of like a softer, wider entry. Arcing it in. I think that's feeling like it's doing a good job. Doing what I need it to do. We're not even halfway, so we'll see what the tires do. I swear some of those guys up there were driving pretty hard. I mean, they've been too wide a lot of this race, so they can't be running the, you know, the perfect line they wanted to be running this whole time, right? I like that I've got my own little space here, and I uh, have the opportunity to try to drive this thing. Got pretty loose right there. Better that than tight, though, I guess. bit of a bad lap. Was not great. Gavin's back on my bumper now. I think he's gonna try to get a run on me. He's taking that higher line. Had a pretty decent corner though. Thankfully he's not able to get to me. Oh my gosh, what's happening up there? They're doing some scary things. Gotta be honest. They're concerning me a little. We're just now halfway once we finish this lap. No one seems to be falling off hard. We're all kind of just similar right now. Okay, Colton. Halfway home. If you looks good. Gavin's looking pretty good. I think he might have saved his tire as well. Wrecking back there, maybe? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Justin got loose there, almost came up and got him. 
the 11. Kind of being gentle on the throttle here. I'm not to break loose. <laughs> this is good racing. I'm having fun. I'm not going to pass, though. Uh-oh, Gavin's going to be on my outside. Uh-huh. I think if you want to pass, you have to do it on the outside, because... Got a lot more momentum up there, that's for sure. I think I have to move up. Outside, clear. Outside. Outside, you can clear. Car inside. It's time to run top or something. Gotta change something. It's not working. Still there inside. Clear inside. Inside. Well, we'll see what uh, what tires we have left. Still there. See how we can use them. These last 15 laps or so. Justin's in the wall. Still there. You're up top three wide. You're up top three wide. Clear all around. Hold on there. Inside. Clear. Inside. Clear. Sorry, it looked like you were moving down the track, so I thought I could go over on your outside and now it closed. Let me how bad my rain. Trevor. That sucks. Oh, you're good, man. No, my tires were lit up and I was just uh, trying to hang on. Well, that sucks. I, I, I thought he was, I thought I had room on the outside and looked like he was going to move low, I thought. And then he kind of didn't and I tried to hit on, get on the brakes. I just, I really didn't want to just, you know, slam on the brake pedal is one I'm gonna get run over from behind and two I'm gonna lose a thousand positions but uh, that sucks well 15th now not how I wanted that to go Got some, uh, well, they're all spread out now, it looks like. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I'm trying to run this high side now. Oh, that's pretty loose, actually. I wasn't really expecting that. I mean, it's, it's tight on entry and loose on exit. It's throwing me for a loop. It's like hard to control loose too. It's not even like, you know, drive off the right real loose. At least to me, it feels like it's like breaking loose. Like I said earlier, like a snapping loose, and it's really hard to do anything with. Oh, that sucks. I hate that I got into Justin there. I really tried to not let that happen.
Hmm. Oh well. We'll see uh, if we can gain any back. Guy heads in the wall. Oh, he's bent in the wall bad. Oh, he all left for us. Okay, well that's good. Better than him pulling it off and hitting me. I was worried that was gonna happen too. People uh getting in the wall in front of me, huh? That's happening quite a bit. I don't know what this car wants though from me. Like I've tried to be easy on the right front, but now it's like crazy loose on exit, and that's not helping me either. I don't like the way this thing's driving. Is it my fault? It is it the way I drove it? I don't know. And it's just the setup's kind of weird. I don't want to be the guy blaming the setup though. Clearly, we're all on the same one. This might approach this race incorrectly. I don't know. Got the 17 coming up though. He's ready to pass me. Also, my frames are dropping. So that's not helping. Not sure what that's about. Seventeen's got tires. See, it's just it starts snapping all of a sudden. It doesn't gradually get loose. On a rough time. <laughs> He's got to run. He's going to go around me. Still there. Still three and four got on the high side. A lot of nothing. Yeah, it's usually the case. Usually high side's not the way to go. Here at on three in three and four at Atlanta. Clear inside. Smoke up there, not sure what that's about. I'm not gonna cross over this guy. You caught me from a million miles back. This didn't go how I wanted. I'm disappointed. I thought I had something this race. I don't know if I overthought it. Maybe I was just bad on the tires when I thought I was being good to him. Uh -huh. There I go getting on his inside, getting on someone's inside again when I didn't want to. Bad execution of ideas in this race, I think. Idea was go on Justin's outside. The execution of the idea run into the back of Justin. Bad execution. So I just stink, I guess. I don't know. Not doing so hot. It sucks too because I, I don't even feel like I don't know it doesn't even feel like the tires are bad it's weird because it's getting more loose than anything it should be good but it's not driving good to me very disappointing We had a fun race going at one point. We were around a lot of guys. Now nothing. Nothing to show for it. Don't even think I was good on the tires at the end of the day. Last lap. 
Last lap. Don't think we're moving anywhere. Last lap, that was a 33.7. Freaking awesome job. <clears throat> you racing, guys? Good one, Larry. Yeah, good battle for Gino. Good one. I feel like I'm the kid inside doing homework, watching everybody else outside. Have fun playing in the sun. <sighs> Apologize again to Justin. Sucks. Fifty-three, fifty-five. Hmm. Interesting. Lewandowski's got better tires on both, but the right front was worse. I fell asleep. Ah, oh, I suck. We'll have to see what what it looked like. I thought it was I thought he was gonna stay on that second lane from the wall and <sighs> see I, I see that and I'm like okay I assume he's gonna hold his line right and then he comes up and See, this is when I make the decision. I'm like, okay, lane up top. I'll go that way. No more lane. Shining out the wall pretty good. This is the guy yelling at me for flat footing it. 
uh, I don't know, something kettle calling it something black. I don't know why we're seeing these. Probably just tires reaching critical points. What I'm assuming all that is. So we were getting about 50% on the tires by the end of this one. So we're probably going to just get a lot of that near the end of the race. We'll skip a little faster. And Larry won. <sighs> I'm gonna go now. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.